There's no simple answer to the question of how do we engage all our students. I think what we have to do, especially for those students who seem so far away, so different, so unengaged, is to listen to them, to find out what is it that engages them in their regular life. Is it sports? Is it religion? Is it the latest video game? Is it What is it about their lives that they're engaged with? And then do the work of connecting science to that. And that is difficult because most educators aren't tuned into listening. We're always tuned into talking and into assuming that people who are listening to us are interested. So we have to overcome that sense of everybody's interested and, and listen to what other people are saying. I've been able to share my love, my interest, my understanding of science, especially trees and nature, with other people who may not be so interested in that by, again, listening to what they're interested in. So for example, with faith-based groups, you know, a lot of people in the world are religious, and maybe some of them don't really care that much about nature. But if you can point out, actually, that trees are a religious symbol in all world religions, the tree of life, the fact that Buddha got enlightenment underneath a tree, Jews celebrate a holiday called Tub Shavad about the new year for trees, then you can say, oh, you, you're interested in trees because you use trees as a symbol of something very important to you. It's written in your holy scripture. Let me, let me build on that. Let me tell you more about trees since you're, you've already got a hook, so to speak, that you're interested in. Find out by simply asking students, what are you interested in? What do you do after school? What are your interests in religion, in sports, in video games? And then either have the student find the connection to that group or ask the students to suggest a way that they could connect their interest to what's going on in the classroom. Using the existing networks that exist outside the classroom can also be helpful. Is there a church group that there could be some reinforcing of students? Is there a video game group? Is there a sports group? So using existing networks can help reinforce that interest but also that connection to what's going on in the classroom.